And from Montgomery County on up to Frederick County, you want to talk about championship contenders, you've got to be talking about the Linganore Lancers. Coach Connors, one of my favorite coaches in all of DMV football. That's why it is an honor to have two Lancers in the building with us here tonight. Christian Petrozello and my main man, Ethan Arneson, as well. Now, Ethan, I got to tell you, when you were a sophomore, I, I, I made the mistake of calling you little Ethan Arneson in person. You're not so little. You got some uh, some muscle tone to I you there, brother. That. I appreciate that. Yeah. Now, we'll go ahead and we'll start with you here, right? Because you all are obviously on this potential championship run again here, but you are on a, a an individual run yourself. Unofficially, currently on the verge of moving into sixth all-time, you've got the opportunity to pass Jake Funk, a DM be legend in terms of all-time Maryland rushing yards. What does this have to be like? It must be a dream. Uh, yeah, I mean, it really is a dream. Uh, I, I told Frederick News Post it's kind of hard to put into words what it really feels like to be put in that category with those elite guys. Um, I mean, Jake Funk plays in the NFL with the Miami Dolphins and has done amazing things, and it's pretty cool to be you know, put in the same category as a guy like that. Absolutely. 500, 638 unofficial yards at this point. By the time the playoff stretch is over, you could be as high as fourth place all time. Now, Christian, you yourself, quarterback out there, I remember the first time I saw you, you can make every throw. You've obviously got the length, you got the arm talent as well. Bucknell commit. What is that community going to get in you? Um, I mean, a leader, someone's going to work in, work hard every day, come in and out of the building, first one in, last one out, and uh, try to make the team better. Make everyone better each day. All right. Big time win this uh, last yes, week, and then coming up this coming week, you all have Franklin. This is a team that also has championship pedigree. Yeah. They've been there before. What are you looking towards in that matchup? Uh, like I said, I think they beat us in states 2018. That's so right. it's definitely like we got to work hard, really focus up this week, lock in, and um, stop their offense. Got a good running back, so. Now, Ethan, I, I mentioned this at the start, right? Coach Connors truly is one of my favorites. I came up again during your sophomore year, had a chance to spend time with that man. He is genuinely a good man. What has it been like to play football under his tutelage? Uh, I mean, it's been amazing. All three years, uh, him being my coach has been absolutely amazing. The dedication he has towards football and our team is unlike any other coach I've ever seen. Uh, I mean... On every weekend, puts in eight plus hours of worth of film. That's right. Yeah. He doesn't barely even sleeps at night before games because you know he's got to make sure we're ready every Friday. And I mean that, that's the most dedicated man I've ever met. Yeah, and I love him so. Definitely shout out to Coach Connors. I'll get you all out of here on this now. Again, we don't like to look ahead because we want to focus on what's in front of us right now. I had Dominic Nichols in the palace here a couple of weeks ago, though, and he talked about that potential next matchup with you all. What will it take if a matchup with Oakdale does happen to win that game and to potentially make another run towards states? Uh, like Coach Connors saying, is go one and zero this week. So if we go one and zero for the next three weeks, we'll win states. So just gotta do what he says and. I think it will happen. I'll tell you what, Coach Connors will like that response a lot. Okay. On behalf of that entire Linganore family, because they got a great fan base, Christian, Ethan, thank you all so very much for coming by the Palace yes, here today and checking in in the sports. And you all stay right here because we got more big interviews and great student athletes next in the sports.